welcome back in the past video what we looked at was the real world uh, situation for the new york subway what are the challenges for the, the problems and we did take some notes on what we found on the internet uh, about uh, possible information that uh, we can look for in the data set and then we tried to frame some questions based on the problems that have been discussed in news or in some blog posts so uh, now we'll in this video we'll take a look at the data set and if you go to google trends uh, so in your uh, big query you can go to this home page if you click on this home uh, if you are if you have opened a tab like this you can click on this home and you'll open this one and uh, when you are here you can click on view da uh, view data set and when you click on the view data set it will open uh, on here and you can see view data set and it should open the data sets on the left hand side uh, as you'll see here so uh, these are uh, here you see the BigQuery public data sets and those are the data sets we are going to use. So I'm going to close this and close this. And uh, down here then uh, all of all these data sets, I'll zoom in. You see that there are several data sets and the data set that we are interested in is the New York subway data set. And if you click on the button show more, it should open the remaining uh, tables or data sets. And I will scroll down till we find New York. Uh, we click on the show more once more and hopefully we should see the data set. And let's keep scrolling down. And here we have, uh, we start seeing. So here, right here we see that there is the New York subway data set. If you click on this arrow, it will open all the tables that are inside of this data set. And uh, right now we can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tables. And what we are going to do in this video is just look at what the tables are and what information is there in these tables. And from the next video, then we'll start writing the queries. So how uh, to look at the tables, one way to do that is without writing any code is you simply click on these three buttons and then say open in new tab. That will open this information and here you have the schema where you see the names of the columns, how many columns are there. You see the type of the data in that column. So here uh, these are strings, uh, float, float and then geography. And if you want to look at the values, you could click on preview and in preview, we see that there are these different values in it. For example, borough code, we have these numbers, borough name, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Bronx, etc. And this is borough area. I'm guessing this is, uh, we'll have uh, to look at the description to check it. the units for this borough length. And we have the borough geometry. This could be used for plotting on a map. So that's uh, that's helpful. We see that we have uh, the borough information in this table. Let's look at the next table, uh, routes. And in here, we have the route ID, short name, long name, description, and type. So if you look in the preview, uh, we, we see that that's the route ID, short name, long name, and you have the description for the route. Uh, operates in Manhattan between Grand Central and Times Square. So we know uh, to and from destinations. Uh, and then these are the uh, uh, these are the service Grand Central 42 and ACE. Uh, I do not know right now what these mean, but uh, we can try to find that as we go through this data set. We have the route type. So there are different route types. Uh, and of course, uh, when we write the code, we can look at how many distinct values are there in each of these, etc. The next table is uh, this uh, station complexes, and we have just two columns: complex ID, complex name. And if we look into this preview, we see that complex ID, and we have the complex name. 
and this uh, maybe this could be uh, similar to the name of the station uh, uh, we do not know that for sure right now but when we look at the table values when we code uh, it will be clear we have station entrances uh, and here this has uh, here we have several columns uh, plenty of columns and the information we have is division line station name latitude longitude and then the route information and after that we have the staff hours that's good entrance staff hours pre crossover and then address uh, not address sorry uh, north south street corner entrance lat long exit only vending etc uh, so far we have we have not seen any information on say pollution or crime rate etc but we do have information about the station name routes lat long uh, latitude longitude and if we look in the preview section we see the station name so wall street is the station name we have the location and what routes go through that station that's what i'm thinking this is trying to tell uh, route number two route number three goes through there and these again are the other routes which are here and so there are plenty of them all are entrance type stairway entrance that's that is useful we can use this to see the accessibility maybe and then we have uh, the other information in there after that let's look at stations uh, open this in a new tab in stations we have again uh, plenty of columns we have the station id complex id uh, division so uh, probably what zone it is in borough name uh, day time routes so we have the time information there and lat latitude longitude so so far what we have mostly is uh, the name information uh, the location information time information and uh, maybe access information addresses access um, and here we see the structure is elevated this is probably all above ground maybe or above, above ground maybe it's on a, a bridge a sort of bridge type of structure uh, above ground uh, this is subway underground and here we have uh, not direction labels uh, i do not know what these are at the moment but we can find that out as we go through uh, this uh, project uh, stations then we have stop times uh, let's open that in a new tab and here we see we have trip id arrival departure times stop sequence head sign pickup time so maybe this could give us information about the delays uh, if we know the start time we know the uh, we know the arrival time uh, maybe uh, we will have to see uh, what the arrival time actually means uh, so does it give us an idea of uh, the expected time versus the real time if, if that's there then we could be we, we could calculate the uh, delays so that's the arrival time we have the departure time stop id stop sequence stop head sign pickup time and several other columns here so uh, that's what we have for the stations let's now look at that stop times uh, table and see what we find in there stop times so let's uh, so this looks like this is not allowing me to open that so let's try again okay here it is stop time we have again uh i think that that's what we were looking at stop times departure time okay so let's now look at uh, uh this one which is a subway ridership so how many passengers use the train and what routes they use and these are the columns we have the station name routes and we have the ridership if we look at the preview we should see uh, plenty of numeric values especially for the uh, columns where we have routes and i'm guessing that uh, it, it tells us about the number of people so this should be the number of people that 
uh, kind of board the train uh, in that route. Uh, so we definitely can calculate uh, if the numbers have increased or decreased over the years. And this is a nice data set. So for just wondering why for this year, 2018, we have, oh, that that's the rank of ridership. Okay, got it. Right. So we have data that goes from 2013 to 2018, and uh, we'll see uh, how uh, how the, uh, the passenger count varied during those years. And here we have the station names. Uh, so we should be able to join this table to other tables. Also, we have the routes. And finally, we have the trips table, where we have the route ID, service ID, trip ID, and other different types of IDs. Uh, if we look at the columns, the values in the columns, we have the route ID, service ID, trip ID, uh, trip head sign, uh, direction ID, block ID. So as we explore the data, we'll, we'll see more uh, information about this, like how many these are, how many unique values these are. Are they specific to a particular route? Are they specific to a particular type of train? Those are the things that we'll have to explore. So if you look at these tables, it's right now it's difficult to uh, see all the columns at once and wonder how we are going to join all these columns. And so here's one tip that I can share is what, uh, what we can do is we can take these column names, put them, uh, arrange them like this, and then we can find columns that can connect these two tables. For example, complex ID from the station underscore complexes table uh, could match with this complex ID from stations table. And so that could match there. The borough name could match here. And then the station names could match here. For route ID, I couldn't find an exact match, but this has the IDs of route separated by commas. So maybe they will have to find a workaround to uh, uh, match these two tables to connect the information. Additionally, we have other, uh, this trips table does have route ID. So we can bring in this value along with uh, the routes as well as we have the stop time. So we could bring in the time information with route ID, with trip ID, and uh, we should be able to connect them to this particular part right here. So this is a nice uh, sort of chart uh, where, we can, uh, where we can see all the tables at once, try to connect the dots, and see what tables have could we could join to extract some information. And I'd suggest creating a table like this to uh, for all the tables you have access to. And so in future, whenever you have to pull some specific type of data, you always have this handy. You can pull this up and see where or where the information you are looking for is located, and then write the query accordingly to pull exactly that information. All right, so that's what I had for this video, uh, unless there is some additional information, which is, let me check if this has uh, information regarding the uh, description of this, uh, description of the New York subway data set. Wonder if it's there, but I don't see it here. We, we could go down on this big Google BigQuery and, View data set will give us just that data set. All right, so we'll stop here and I hope that uh, you, uh, in next video you'll again join me to start exploring the data where we'll first write some simple queries of, uh, to start exp uh, to get information out such as counts, etc. And as uh, we'll start creating questions uh, as we go through and uh, and then begin our exploration into more complex, uh, uh, trying to answer more complex and involved questions. Thank you. Again, if you have any comments or suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section below. I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye for now.